Well, welcome along to our video walkthrough of this 2008 BK Calypso. Not Calippo, like the ice lolly, Calypso. It's a 28 by 12 two bed. It's got double glazing, it's got electric heaters, and uh, it's priced at 11695 So we're going to have a look around, and if you've got any questions, do reach out. On the left hand side here, you can see we've got this fitted seating area. So they've removed the original seating um, on the right hand side where they've got a sofa. The left hand side has been recovered in this seagull fabric, which um, I must say I quite like. There's a couple of stains and marks on it, but it's perfectly fine. I've given it a clean, I'm sure it will do another few years, and I quite like it actually. Um, don't like seagulls, but um, I think it's quite fun. Got a sofa here on the right hand side. Big, well, it's a two, well, three seater really. It's two cushioned, but three seater. And then over on opposite the sofa, we've got a gas fire and TV area. So um, essentially, we're sitting on the sofa looking over at the TV and fire. You could fit another sofa under the window there if you wanted to. I can't remember what this originally had. I imagine it had seating under the window. Yeah, it did, looking at the holes. Tiny little holes there. So it would have had seating under the window across the corner there and then over to our right-hand side. But obviously, the previous owners have just stuck with that two-seater sofa and obviously been happy with that. So there are some marks on the wall. Some staples that just need flattening off a little bit, but actually it's pretty mark free really. Um, sort that out and we'll, um, it, you wouldn't really know much about it. The backboard over in the corner and behind the sofa is covered, um, but that's what would have been there when the fitted seating was there originally. But if you're looking to put your own sofa into a sort of smaller cavern, being a 28 by 12, then um, this one would be quite a good one to start with. As I say, double glazed as well. So just looking around, you can just see it's an open plan area. Um, There's not much more to say about it. There's no delamination in the, this area here because of the wood doors being made a bit differently. Carpet, a little bit worn and needs a, a clean in places. You can see a few marks on it, um, but I would suggest that it would be perfectly fine to stay once it's had a clean. So if we come up then towards our kitchen area, we've got a fridge freezer over on the right-hand side where our exterior door is. And then on our left-hand side here, we've got a gas oven. We've got um, several kitchen cupboards and window and everything there. There's a little bit of delamination on the dining table top, but that's something we can sort out. Got quite a large opening area here, really, where you enter into the caravan. Area on the left-hand side to put a little unit dresser or um, a bigger dresser if you wanted to, come up to sort of shoulder height, um, or you just have your shoes or something there. Coming to the back of the caravan then, we've got um, bathrooms and uh, bathroom and bedrooms. So the bedroom here at the rear of the caravan is the main bedroom. We've got storage over the top of the bed, Bedside tables, electric panel heater under the window there, and then we've got our wardrobe storage. No delamination worries again with the wardrobe storage because of the way the doors are made. You, they've got a hard edge on them, um, so there's nothing to worry about with that. As you can see, hanging wardrobe space there. And then we've got shelving to the side for your socks. Coming back out of there, turning to our right hand side, we've got what would be the twin room, although it's currently set up just with one large single bed, probably a three foot bed there. Wardrobe space on the left hand side. That's the plinth heater there at the, at the bottom. Um, saves a bit of space, wall space there. That blows out hot air, runs off the electric. Then if we turn back towards our main bedroom, opposite that, we've got our bathroom, which features our toilet, our um, electric sort of towel rail there, sink and then shower. Shower's got a sliding door, slides back to the right hand side, um, and then you step in, it's got a plastic topper on it. Um, it's not the world's biggest shower, it's it's a, pretty much a square, as you can see. Um, so it goes back to about shoulder width. Um, so it's not as big as your modern caravans, which obviously usually have bigger showers, um, but, but it's not too bad. If you were a massive person, um, height, and uh, needed to get into a, a tall shower that has a, a much higher ceiling, then this, this might not work, but... Um, as I say, looking at it, you can see where the shower mixer and shower head are, and then you've got a good sort of um, head space over the top there, so it should be fine for most people. Coming back out of there then, and back towards our living area, we will jump out and show you the outside. So this is the outside of the BK Calypso, it's a 2008, as I said at the beginning. Sunny morning here today. Front looks okay, bit of dirt, needs a wash off. You've got guttering, there's no downpipes, you've just got the gutters on it. Um, needs a wash off on front and sides, but that down that offside looks to be okay. Front looks to be fairly damage free as well. Looking down the door side, again needs a wash. Got a couple of holes in the panels where you've had things like um, uh, steps and things bolted on. 
And then looking at the back of it as well, looks to be damage free as well. I don't write tell you about all the lumps and bumps, but anything significant, dents and damage, I do make you aware of. Panel here, um, bulged a little bit. I think it's got caught on the timber there, just needs flattening out and refitting. Not a problem. So yeah, all looks fairly decent. I'll just show you that one, a little bit of a dent there. Underneath, it's a standard painted chassis. And um, as you can see, whilst there's some surface rust, the metal's all um, fine. The integrity of it is fine. So nothing to worry about with the chassis, I'd say. So that is our BK Calypso. It's a 2008, 28 by 12 two bed. It's got double glazing, it's got electric heaters, mixture of plinth and panel heaters. And it's priced at 11765 Any questions at all, please get in touch with us. Otherwise, stay wonderful. See you next time.